Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael Stoll or Total Leading King and today we're going to play career mode. Uh, this is going to be the start of a new series where I basically just play uh, KSP and you guys can join me. Okay, so we're going to name this one <coughs> uh, what should we name this? I will call it Endeavor. Yeah, that's a good name. And we're going to play full career. We're going to use our good old communist and flag. And we're going to begin. Now, career mode is in... Full career mode is in the newest update of KSP. And it shares some many uh, uh, features as the old career mode. However, this one also takes into account reputation and funding. So we start off with 10,000 um, uh, credits and zero science, and we are on a neutral um, neutral uh, uh, reputation. Um, so we want to get a good reputation so that we'll continue to get um, contracts from the mission control. And if we uh, if we accept these contracts, we have to complete these requirements uh, that are in the contract. So if we look at them here, we have to launch a new vessel, set an altitude of 5,000 meters, reach space, and achieve orbit around Kerbin. And we get funding for that, which allows us to make more rockets, because rocket parts cost money now. Yes, so if you can see here, Command Pod Mark 1 costs 600 credits. So. Oh, also we get paid in advance for some contracts, so we're up to 36,506 instead of just 10,000. Uh, another cool feature in this um, update, I'm saying it like it's brand new, it's not, but uh, is that you can actually bring up your contracts in the uh, VAB and SPH. So I've played quite, I have another save, which is full career mode, and I've got pretty far with that, so uh, I am I understand most of the mechanics, which will mean that you don't just have to watch me just flailing around in pain, which I'm sure you would prefer me to do. But okay, what do we call this one? We shall call this one um, Lil Harpy. The first, nah. Lil Harpy. So we're gonna have to set an altitude uh, record using some rockets, I'm assuming. Uh, that's the game. So there we go. We'll do that. Put a rocket on that. That should get us up to 5,000 meters, but just in case, uh, we'll also stick on two of these guys. Um, there are a couple more things we have to pay attention to. For example, recovery. Now, you get money for each part you recover, and you get more money the closer you recover a ship to the KSC. Now, that is very important because rockets can get quite um, pricey, and it's always good. You can get, uh, you can, if you recover, okay, let, let me form some words in my head here. If you recover a large amount of your ship, you can sometimes salvage up to 50-60% of the money you spent on it, especially when you're doing missions. Um, so to start off with, for our first ship here, Little Harpy, or Lil Harpy, we have, we are going to fly Jebediah Kerman. No one better for the job. And we're going to save this, and hopefully we can recover the whole thing in one piece so let's launch and I want to preferably use my solid rocket boosters first so in five four three two one stay upright little hoppy there you go that's my boy that's my boy okay so we're going good and straight I have no SAS yet notice I haven't developed it in the part tree which is another large aspect. For anyone who's never seen or never played uh, career mode, basically that big building on the top left of the KSC there is called the R&D, and that is where you develop new parts, and 
also where, well that's where you develop your part using science and now science is obtained by taking, no, you know, I'll just keep that, uh, by taking crew reports and um, readings from various uh, instruments and even your Kerbal. Now, I do have to be quite careful about this. I would like to reach space in the first flight, that would be preferable. Um, let's actually see what our Apple apps is. 60,000, we can push it higher, we can get this thing into space, but I also want to make sure, there we go, that I can soft land this uh, as well as parachutes because I really want to recover this engine and get the money back for it. So, time accelerating up here. This is basically going to be the style of this series. It's going to be just nice real time um, instead of any formal stuff. Um, I suppose we should set a goal to do something in a certain amount of time, I guess. Uh, oh, we've reached space. Ah, okay. So not bad for a first try. However, we do not enough have enough fuel to get anywhere near an orbit here, and so we're gonna have to uh, retreat back into our atmosphere. However, before we do that, let me get a EVA report. Keep that eight science. Not bad. Uh, so that's just above Kerbin Shores. We are just above Kerbin Shores. Who do you think you are? Um, anyway. Well, so, uh, pretty successful flight there. Uh, also, you will see in the top right, we get contract complete, and we get these notifications saying that you've completed the contract. We are descending now, so may as well help this along with the go aid of the magic of time acceleration. Um, here we go, coming down, coming down. Come down, come down. I'll never sink again. I'm sorry about that. About to set a blaze. This is going to be interesting. Um, so yeah, get ready, Jeb, for some G's. G's. Oh, that was quick. Oh, okay, I see. Um, well, that was not as bad as expected. Um, I'm going to deploy my shoots now because we are under 200 meters per second. Um, it's a rule of thumb that I have and 2300 meters up, I was going to say meters per second, we did not get quite that fast on our first try, however nonetheless we did go quite fast, quite high, we had a quite successful quite, quite, quite. Here we are and coming down at about 12 meters per second, now we need to be going under I think it is 8 because that is the tolerance of this engine. So I need to time this just about perfectly to make sure that I don't run out of fuel uh -oh. when I land. There we go. Good. Soft landed. Now I actually need to knock this craft over slightly. Come on. Uh, oh well. So I'll just do this. Um, here we go. If I EVA him, get him out. Oh, I can take data as well. So take surface sample. Very skilled, taking surface samples while completely uh, immobile. You took a sample of the soil. It's very muddy and sandy. There might be a body of water nearby. Okay, I'll keep that. Nine science. Um, and I'm afraid we're going to have to recover him maybe separately. Yes, yeah, we do. So 25 reputation. That is quite a lot. Uh, I do believe there is a limit for the reputation unless you do increasingly daring and amazing and fantastical things. Um, 30 data gathered, uh, 9 science, and we recovered him, and we're going to go ahead and recover our rocket, because that is a bounty of science as well, so let's have a look. 19.5 science, not bad, we're up to 48, that is great, 48. Um, Okay, yeah, see, we recovered 2,625.76 out of 3,300 funds, so about two-thirds of that has been recovered, if not more, in fact. So, we are up to 72 grand. Not bad indeed. Now, since our reputation is in the green in the top, instead of just being on that blue, uh, people will start giving us deals, and 
asking us to do things because they trust us. But first, let's go into the tech tree and unlock our first basic rocketry. How hard can rocket science be anyway? How dare you! I am rocket science. I can be very hard. I'm going to kill your window! Okay, sorry about that guys. Um, it appears that my fraps uh, kind of killed my window then, so um, don't worry, we didn't lose anything, um, but we are back. Okay, so I'm going to re-accept the flag, and uh, let's have a look at the part tree, where that's what we were doing. Um, okay, basic rocketry, how hard can rocket science be anyway? Well, let's find out, for five science. We can also get, um, for 15 science each, um, survivability, uh, stability, general rocketry. Now, this will give us radial decouplers, uh, AVT1 winglets, and aerodynamic nose cone. Or we can get an LV909, which is more efficient engine, it's landing struts, and a radi radial mount parachute. But I don't know, I'm not quite sure if we want to go for the larger engines and the fuel boosters, or if we want to go for the aerodynamics. I do not think we'll be going for the aerodynamics. Um, besides that's 18, oh, 20, 18, 15. Um, I do believe we want this, because I would enjoy a more efficient engine for when we are trying to get into orbit. So, boom, bish bash bosh. We still have 28 science, not that that really matters now. Oh, what the heck, we can go for this. There. Cool. And then, okay. So, let's try and get ourselves into an orbit. Let's get Lil Hoppy. And let's do a couple of mods onto him. This be Lil Skippy. There we go. Lil Skippy is going to take us into the skies of Kerbin. Ev no, even above the skies of Kerbin. And he's going to take a more efficient engine with him. With, with him. Um, you know what? Let's simplify that. Good. Boom. Uh, we still have a parachute. Good. And for the lower stage, I do believe we will need a decoupler. Good. And something fairly simple. Let's say... I I believe this will have enough delta v to get us into orbit. I don't know though. Let's try this. I have a good feeling about this. Come on, little Hoppy. Oh, li sorry, little Skippy. I I'm so sorry that I have offended you. Okay, so this one seems good. What else do we have? Utility. We have landing struts. Uh, do we have any scientific equipment? Oh, we do. So may as well exploit our. Uh, journey and yeah what the heck let's put a one of these guys on you know what I'm not going to do that actually because we do not have any batteries so without further ado let us save this and then with a little bit further ado I will use the further ado in fact to sort out my staging um, with no further ado from this point on we're going to proceed to the runway and see if we can't get ourselves into a good stable orbit. Are you ready, Jeb? I don't care, we're going anyway. He needs. He said he needed the bathroom, that's okay. Let's take a crew report really quickly. Let's transmit it. Oh, actually, let us... Um, let's review the port report. We can take this later, because we really want to keep one that we've taken in space. Um, so in three, two, one lipped off. Everything is going fairly smoothly. But we haven't gone far yet. Um, seem to be quite stable. That is always a good thing to be while we are flying into space with a rocket. Always want to be quite stable, otherwise we will be a little bit dead. 
I like the word quite today, I'm not quite sure. There we go again. Okay, so... Maybe I should just do the next episode in rhyme. No, I'm, I'm joking. Um, so I, I say we get this into an orbit, and then whatever we do past then is going to have to be next episode. Holy crap, this thing does not want to turn. It does like catching itself on fire, I'll give it that. It is quick. This thing is quick. Um, but what I'm looking forward to seeing is how we are affected by cost uh, in this. I would like to see the effects of cost on the way we build our rockets. For example, some engines are slightly less good, but sufficient, and they are cheaper, and there are things like that constantly dealing with. Uh, it looks like this is going to be quite a... Uh, damn that word. Somebody keep a counter, please. Somebody just write in the comments how many times I've said that word. There we are. So we're looking at 115 by 119. That is horrible. 117 by 108. It's going to have to do. First orbit, I mean, it'll be fine, right? Yeah, okay. So now, getting into space, I'm going to take first Mystery Goo observation. Uh, keep this data, because we get more than transmitting anyway. And then, time warp till we're one minute out. We've, well, yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. And here we go. Hopefully, with two minutes of fuel left, we're going to do this burn. Let's roll this guy so he can actually see Kerbin. And this is his view. Um, well, oh, there we go. I'm trying not to actually adjust any roll here. <laughs> Or adjust my pitch at all. There we go. Good. Um, I'm actually going to aid this along for time and sake. Here we go. Pushing ourselves into an orbit. We look. It looks like we have plenty of fuel here, so we should not be worried about that. I'm going to realign. Good. And boosting our way with whatever the heck they use what do they call this? Liquid fuel? I don't know what it really is. Whatever the chemicals they're using as propellant. Hopefully not hydrazine. There we go. The reason I say that is because hydrazine is deadly. Okay, uh, let's observe Mystery Goo. It's very volatile and therefore good propellant, but it is horrible if it touches you or even is in the air. Okay, the goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become uh, brittle. Okay, 10 science, not bad. Uh, let's get this guy out here. The first man on his spacewalk. Well, I say well, he's not man, he's Kerbal. Um, the first Kerbal in orbit. So, this needs plenty of documentation. He made it into orbit, making history in a rocket called Little Skippy. So, whoa, look at this. If you, okay, so you see the space directly behind the um, Jeb. Uh, if I can actually get myself back under control, uh, observe the ocean when I spin. Can you, is, does anyone else see this flashing light, or is that just me? Uh, tell me if you see it, or if I'm just going crazy. Because um, I would really like to know if I am going crazy, it would be quite good to know that. Um, EVA report. You've recorded your observation about the situation. We're getting less for that. I don't care. Can I take a surface sample out of... No? I'll store some experiments, and then I'll board. I am aware I could do those at the same time. However, I did not want to. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, I guess the plan is to actually complete an orbit and go all the way around. Let's observe this beautiful planet that we reside on. We've got to be very careful about our electric charge so that it does not go down. That's, um, I probably should have turned my SAS off, but that is okay. It's not actually seeming to, it does not seem to be draining. Um, I would like to develop some sort of batteries or solar panels uh, sometime soon because if we do ever want to transmit something, it will require electricity. Now, let me set up my burn back home. Uh, let me line this up. We can always move it when we see what the rotation is. I'm not quite sure how quickly this will rotate beneath us. Well, I actually noted in seven minutes. That won't. That should be. Uh, 
Let's try that. Um, how about that? No? How about that? No? How about that? Yeah, there we go. That should be fine. So 46 second burn backward. Oh crap, that does go fast. That was five minutes. Five minutes. It's rotated visibly in five. That is insanely fast. Holy crap, holy. Okay, so getting close here, and then I'm going to nudge it across a little bit. There we go, that should be fine. Um, the reason I want this to be further out is so that it'll cancel. Or it won't cancel, but we will, as the planet rotates beneath us, because we've, we'll be falling for quite a while, uh, it would be nice to have some kind of rotation buffer so we don't actually have to be pushing forwards to land near the KSC. Um, I'm not quite sure our fuel will hold, but let's hope it's going to be close. Uh, oh god, it is going to be close. I don't want to burn all my fuel up, so I'm going to leave four in there. Let's hope this is enough to get me near the KSC. Okay. It's all looking good from now. This looks like I'm going to be really close, in fact. If not slightly overshoot. Oh, crap, my inclination was off slightly. How interesting. Okay. Oh, that is quite close, actually. Okay, we do need fuel for this. Uh, coming down now, we are subsonic, and I opened my parachutes earlier, just in a vain attempt to get us onto land. That is fine. Here we go. 500 meters, and deployed! Um, not bad, not bad. 9 meters per second, it won't take much to slow us down a little bit. I just want to make sure our engine does not break. Um... Oh, you can see the specific impulse actually dropping visibly. Great. And that's us. Down on the surface. Ooh, careful with that. Oh. Uh, can I take a crew report here? Oh, give me a minute. I have an idea. Can I actually take a surface sample? Ooh, careful there. You've taken a sample of water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. Yeah, well, wow. Um, let's keep that. I hope I can get in with this. Oh, I hope I can get in, period. Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, maybe we can use the... Ah! Do not drown. Well, he's not going to drown. He's got a space suit on. Come on! Store experiments. Nothing to store. Ah, uh, I okay. Well, we're just gonna have to recover them separately again. Whoops. Okay, cool. What do we get for him? Nothing because we stored all experiments. That's good. Um, not bad if I do say so myself. Uh, that is quite close. How close was it? Let's have a look. Recover. It'll actually tell us. Um, so we got f what, 44.3 science on that mission, good. 17.6 uh, kilometers from KSC, and so we recovered everything at 97.2% value. Uh, that's good, we got 3,900 funds from that. Coolio, and no crew. Great. So, uh, I next time we are going to attempt to... Uh, earn some more money and then hopefully build a moon lander but until then I guess you're gonna have to wait till next time I've been Michael Stoll or Turtle the Ding King and I will see you guys later uh, have fun with KSB goodbye